Right then, welcome back. Um, today, race three. Da, 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 what a shock, eh? Um, race three. That's race modified as well, isn't it? Iberian Super Cup. All right, okay. Um, race three in our Spanish Super Sport 750 Championship. Whew. Wow. Um, Andalusia Circuit Layout 1. Um, we are two from two, 50 points. Um, single lap qualifying, and it's going to rain in the race, apparently. Uh, so we shall see. Oh, look at that. That is a serious straight, isn't it? Big old straight. I like this track. Very good. A lot of time on the side of the tyre. I'm not going to change anything. The bike set up. Should hopefully... Yeah, it is it's the same. Yes, it's actually starting to save the setups now. Cool. Uh, tyres, medium, front, soft, rear. Um, and we are aiming for... Right, I've checked the leaderboards. I haven't set a time on this one. Fastest time in the world is 150... I want to say 151. 151, 152-ish. Right, so they're a fair way under what these boys and girls are doing on here. Right. So we should... We should be able to... St I know I'm going to jinx myself. But we should be able to stick this on pole quite comfortably. It shouldn't be a massive issue. Plus, if all else fails, we could just hail Mary the last corner. And that's what we'll do. Ooh, go on. You've got to get the turning points for these corners. Bang on. Like this one, you've got to brake. Get over that inside curve. And you always think that you're too early on the brakes for that one, and you're not. It's a horrible corner. It's a good little track. I know I'm saying it's a horrible corner, and it is, but what a cheeky little track. Say something, a track day here. You'd be sweating at the end of that, you'd know about it. Brave over the curbs, flat stick. Treat this like one long corner. Entry speed all wrong. Oh my god, all wrong, all wrong. Made a right mess of that. We just nipped off. Ooh, we nipped the first apex way too tight. Long straight. Oh, we've made a mess of that as well. The bike. Bike had a little wobble, nearly lost the front. It's got no go, so it's not very fast down the straights. Oh, there's a lot on the table into there. I use the second marking, second braking marker, sorry, as the braking point. Oh, yeah, look at that 51, 52. Ooh, as it gives us that, as it gives us that, as it gives us a massive penalty. <laughs> Half a second. 55.5. What did I say about comfortably sticking it on pole? I can hear the rain. Oh no. Not what we need. Oh well. Oh well. Rain tyres, yes. Five laps, fast track, high corner speeds, big braking zones, long lap as well, 155 on rain tyres. Oh no. And you know that they're going to be absolute arses as well. Sticking it up the inside, trying to just generally cause havoc. This might just light that rear tyre up. 
Ooh, ooh, hello, that was naughty. We had one on the inside and one around the outside then. And now we have no ZX7 double R trying to kill us. We could take that nice wide line into turn one. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. What have we done there? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's turning into one of those races, isn't it? Just have to concentrate for ten minutes, that's it. Right, now we're out front. Oh, we were too deep there. Too fast, too deep. Too scrappy. Oh no, now I'm in front in the sector where they're quicker than me. Is he making nine tenths up? I don't know. She did not like that. Get on the gas way too early. All the way through, go on, all the way. Yes, 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 yes. Seconds, end of the long back straight. Oh, way too hot again. This bike, it does not want to stop. Go five metres past the braking zone. Trying to be careful as well. And she's just a little bit reluctant. That engine braking again, it's just... Maybe it's a click too high. Just oh, spitting the bike sideways. means we actually lose lose a bit of braking force. I might turn it down a click actually. Go to two. I'll do it in a minute. Where are we? Bottom one. There we go. Right, let's see what that's like. Let's see if she just works a bit better. She might not. I just now run on into the corners rather than sliding into them. I think it's the gas that's going to get me into trouble more than the brakes. Oh, she's much more stable. Question is, is she faster? Yeah, loads. Although it is lap two, and lap one was a standing start, so... So wet tracks, we need to knock the engine breaking down to two. Okay. I won't remember that. Yeah, I was saying in the first attempt, I don't... Can't, well, until I edit it, I don't know what's been said, but... These 750s can just be a little bit disappointing. They just feel a bit sort of underpowered, a bit too heavy. I mean, they were back in the day. A ZX7R had what? 115, 118 horsepower, maybe 230 odd kilos. They were not exactly the flyweights that we're used to today. A modern, well, the last of the line GSXR 750 late 90s, mid 90s, whatever, early naughty 750, wouldn't see which way one of them had gone. Ooh, the front end nearly went there, oh my god. Talk about twitchy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought that was the next corner. What an idiot. Yeah, much better with that engine brake and knocked off. I mean, the power and weight that a race 750 is knocking out is about Fireblade 954 performance. 150 horsepower, 154 ish, and about, what, 195 wet. That is absolute bang on the money for a 954 Fireblade. And these things just don't feel that fast. Having had a 954 Fireblade, I can genuinely say that. That was a rapid bike, way too fast. Nobody needs to go that quick. Stupid amount of go. And I put a set of flat bars on it and a top yoke. Turned it into the world's best wheelie machine. It was ridiculous. Fourth gear, just riding along, having a nice day out. That's oh, wheelie and thanks. Crazy. Fun, but just crazy. These things do not feel that fast, no way. What are we, five? We've been here before with a five second lead. Made an absolute mess of it. Go on, get around there. I need to control my enthusiasm into this last corner. Because that first corner is a nightmare. Sound of two minutes dead. Oh, change of direction. Just enough, just enough power to make things scary. Ooh. Tell you something, I don't think the Canadians finish a second in this one. Absolutely not. There's no way we're still up now. Well, we're not far off. Can't run too early on that first corner. Causes havoc. On that one as well, you're going to be so early. So early on the brakes and getting it turned in. Oh, go on. That was a good run through there. Not our best though. Surprised at that. It felt better. It felt better than that. Oh, rowdy. Does not sound nice at the top end of this bike. Sounds awful. Well, we were consistent across that lap, weren't we? Right, last one then. It's hard judging the entry speed to that right hander there. That's better. That's better. Go on. Find that grip. Find that grip. Yeah, the wet races are completely different to the dry. The amount of feedback you're getting is loads better. Bikes, because they're going to lower speed as well, they just seem to move about more. Yeah, this is... This is where they need to start the physics model for the dry stuff and work upwards from here. And as the grip, lateral grip and drive grip increases, just muck about with the physics. 
the physics model and making sure it stays in check. It, it feels like they turned everything up to 100 for the dry stuff. There's no feedback. No feedback at all. Whereas in the wet, a million times better. Eight seconds. Lost three tenths. See if we can find that back. Be nice to get a 159 to finish. Not like that, we won't. Oh, way too deep. Get away with it because we can go through this last corner a bit quicker. There you go. 159.453 because we could just plough him into the barriers to finish. Another one done then. Another 25 points. Let me just make sure I've made note of that. 159.453. Yes. Uh, 75. Right, we're 25 points in front of second place now. So we just need to finish the last race at Valencia National and we should be good. Time attack, time. Time to do a time attack. What? That is not the right circuit. Wow. Just saw a 134 pop up. My, my poor little heart skipped a beat. Right, so we did a 55.5 in qualifying, but we made a mess of it. And we did a 59.4 in the wet. So we'll set... Do you know what? 59... 53... Oh, that is stonkingly quicker. Do you know what? We'll do a 53.6, because... No, we won't. We'll do a 56.0, because that's the closest to our 55.5. We'll, so we'll go for that, and we'll see how we get on. I'm hoping this is considerably faster. Um, electronic... Engine braking 4? No, 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 no. Engine braking 3... That needs to go up one. Hmm. I said it was a bit reluctant to turn on the gas. I'm going to knock that down one, didn't I? Right. Right. That's saved. Good. Tyres are good. Yep. Yeah, can't remember if I've checked them. Let's go. Just about two, two or three meters short. Right, what's that got us down to? We have a new ghost to be third. That's better as well. Don't run wide. It didn't. Let's just throw it through here. See what happens. Dear me, dear me. I have a new ghost to be. I'm sure I do. 51.5. That's first. Oh. <clears throat> I think that's too much. Three tenths of a second. 51.5. Oh, do you know what? We have to go for it, don't we? medium front I'm tempted to go and put a hard front on see if that doesn't suit us a bit better Let's see what happens with this lap and if needs be we're going to put a hard front It's not 
quite as good as our last lap. Made a mess of that here. Not this time though. Come on, my last seven. Come on. Come on. Let's nail this straight. Just about. Oh, it's horrible when it's this close. Like one mistake and you're done. One missed acceleration zone. One missed gear. Missing a breaking point by a metre running wide on an exit curve. We've done it. Just don't spanner it and we've done it. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Go on. 51.179. Well... I would never have believed that that was possible. Going from a 155.5 to a 151.1, 4.4 seconds. Just, nah, no way. But, you just never know. You just never know. That R7 is just spectacular now. Absolutely spectacular. Right, just to confirm then. We've only gone and slapped it in first, haven't we? 51 1, 4 tenths. Oof. I don't. That's probably the most perfect lap I've done. There was one little bit where we dropped a wheel onto the dirt. The bike just kept driving forward, so. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, that. That was a very, very, very good lap. Right, this one's done. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for coming in, liking, sharing, subscribing, all the using jazz. Next time, last race, race four of four. We should win the championship and get a bike that we've already got. But hey, doesn't matter. Every little counts. Uh, fingers crossed. I'll see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.